So yeah, here's a match with um, Desert Fox 11 from YouTube, and this is actually a war match, Team Zeal against Team Riot. So um, I'm not the leader of Zeal anymore, but I am still a member, and they asked me to be on the war roster, so I'm like, okay, let's go, Zeal. So um, yeah, he, he leads with the Tyranitar, I lead with an Azelf, and um, he's going to set up the sub, I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rocks, and um, this is bad for me because I know now he's probably Tyranoboa, and he goes for the Dark Pulse because that's super effective on Azelf. I go into Scizor, and uh, Scizor resists Dark, which is nice, but he gets a crit, which is kind of annoying. And um, I figure he's going to Focus Punch, and he's Tyranoboa, so I go for the uh, U-Turn, so I can break the sub and then um, U-Turn to somebody who shouldn't take too much damage from that Focus Punch. So I go into Gyarados, and um, Gyarados does resist Focus Punch, so that's pretty nice. And, um, yeah... It doesn't do a whole lot to me. Um, does about a quarter, but um, I take it pretty nicely. And um, I decide to stay in and go for the waterfall. I was kind of fearing he might have Thunderbolt, but um, I decided to risk it and just go for the waterfall. And um, he actually goes into a Swampert, which takes the waterfall quite nicely, obviously, because Swampert's like always a defensive kind of tank thing. And um, I'm afraid he's going to roar me or set up Stealth Rocks, so I decide to go for the Taunt, and um, it, he ends up... Uh, trying to go for the Stealth Rock, so that ends up being really awesome for me, um, because that blocks the Stealth Rocks from being set up. So, yeah, he has to switch, pretty much. Um, he could have maybe withered me down with Ice Beam, but um, he just wanted to try to go into this thing instead, Starmie. And I go for the Dragon Dance, and, you know, I'm thinking this thing is either Life Orbed or Scarfed. If he's Scarfed, then that's bad, he'll outspeed me and kill me. But if he's, um... Life Orb, then I can outspeed and kill him. So I decided to play a little risky. I go for the Stone Edge, and I end up outspeeding him and killing him. Um, I did get a crit. I don't think it would have mattered. I've killed uh, Starmies before um, that didn't have any defense or anything investment like that um, without crits. So I don't think that crit mattered. Um, he agreed because he didn't have anything invested in HP or defense. So Okay, so he goes into Salamence. And uh, Stone Edge is super effective, even after the Intimidate, so I decide just to go for it. And I do take him down with Stone Edge, which is good. And, um, yeah, Gyarados is looking pretty nice. Um, but now he actually ends up going into something that I completely was not expecting. He goes into a Scizor, and I'm like, okay, Scizor, whatever, I should be able to 2 KO it with Waterfall. But this Scizor is a really awesome set. This is probably the most original, best, well, the best original set I've seen for a Scizor. This is actually, I think, a bulky... Toxic stalling um, Scizor. It has like max HP and max defense, which means he can take waterfalls like a champ. And um, he, of course, has Roost too. I probably should have taunted this turn, but um, I just didn't. And I probably played this a little bad, but he ends up, ends up getting a Roost. And, um, yeah, he's just going to be able to Toxic Stall me now. So I went for one more Dragon Dance, so now it's a 2 at KO, and I think maybe I'll try to taunt him now so he can't Roost or anything. Um, but he ends up doing some decent damage, or mediocre damage, I should say, with Bullet Punch to Gyarados. But it's enough that, um, two Bullet Punches will put me into the range of being KO'd in two turns. So I'm only going to be able to get off one Waterfall on him, and that'll take him down a little less than half, but that's really not what I was hoping for, and um, my Gyarados got taken down by a completely unexpected Scizor set. He probably should have went into that earlier, um, because I would have fell for that even after, you know, even before I killed Salamence and Starmie, so really awesome set. I was really impressed. So I go into Azelf, and I'm just going to go for the Fire Blast, and um, he goes into a Dusk Noir. I was actually expecting him to switch into Tyranitar. Um, I'm guessing maybe he, pr he thought I might explode, but I didn't. So I go for the Psychic on the Dusk Noir, and I end up getting the Special Defense drop, and he misses with uh, Will-O-Wisp, which is just went great for me, terrible for him. And um, I'm thinking he'll probably switch out in Tyranitar now, but um, I'm just going to go for the Fire Blast, since it's probably the best play at the moment. It'll do some damage to Tyranitar, um, and it would have KO'd the Dusk Noir. But um, I went for the Fire Blast, and it just barely scratches Tyranitar, and I just have to hope that he doesn't switch out into Dusk Noir, or end that, if he doesn't, Tyranitar, um, 
won't be able to set up a sub after an explosion. So I go for the explosion, and um, it worked out exactly the way I wanted it to. He was too weak to set up the ex the uh, substitute, and I'm just going to go in a scissor now to scare him off. And I know I'm faster than it, so I decide... I'm, well, I'm pretty sure I'm faster than it. So I decide to go for the U-turn, and that turns out to be a pretty safe play. He does switch into Dusk Noir, and um, I go into Latias now. And I'm just going to go for the Surf, because I know the rest of his team, and Surf is the best move to use right now. Um, because I know he still has Scizor, and Surf is super effective against, um, sorry, against Tyranitar. And this is my Specs Latias, so I'm pretty confident I can KO uh, Tyranitar with it. So he goes into Scizor, and I just, I was like, oh, please, kill this thing. So I go for the surf, and thank God I killed it. I was I was pretty happy. In fact, I was almost expecting it to live like two hit points and then poison me, or, or maybe even worse, roost, and then try to stall me out. That would have just been bad. So he goes into Swampert, and um, I go for the surf. It looks to be a two hit KO, perhaps. He goes for the ice beam. Um, it doesn't do a whole lot to me due to Latias' pretty good special defense. And um, I'm thinking I should KO with Surf here, but he actually survives just barely and gets the second um, Ice Beam off on me. And, um, yeah, he's going... Well, <sighs> the Sandstorm isn't quite going to finish me, so I'm going to be able to finish off his Swampert this turn with Surf. And I still have Scizor to take care of the Tyranitar, so it's pretty much my game. Um, he's going to run at the end. I guess that saves him a few seconds of his time. But, um, yeah, great game, Desert Fox. And today's question of the day is, um, do you prefer to use, like, original sets like his Scizor, or maybe, like, the set that's proven, like, you know, Swords Dance Scizor, for example? And um, my personal opinion is I like to use proven sets, like... Um, they're the top sets for a reason, um, but I do like to splash some novelty moves on my Pokemon from time to time just to catch opponents off guard, um, and that can really have its uses as well, like um, Desert Fox's Scizor. That was a great set. Um, but anyway, write, comment, subscribe, guys, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.